There are two good methods for soldering and desoldering surface mount components. The non-contact hot air method and the direct contact conduction method using a soldering iron with special surface mount tips. There are three types of surface mount components. Gull wing lead components, J lead components, and leadless components such as chip resistors and capacitors. The first step is to select the proper nozzle for the component. Nozzles are determined by the physical dimensions of the component and the lead type. For example, this quad flat pack has a body dimension of 14 by 20 millimeters with gull wing type leads at a pitch of 25 mils or 25 thousandths of an inch. The pitch is the distance from the center of one lead to the center of the next. By viewing the component drawing or measuring the component body, select a nozzle with dimensions large enough to focus air directly onto the leads. Nozzles are basically heat focusing heads that distribute hot air evenly to the component leads. The nozzle never comes into direct contact with the board or leads, which makes hot air one of the safest rework methods available. The Hako FR803 heater pipe has specially designed blades to evenly distribute the air at the exit point of the nozzle. For this demonstration, we will use the Hako A1128B nozzle for the 14x20 component. Once you've determined the correct nozzle, attach the nozzle to the vacuum pipe of the FR803 handpiece. First, remove the screw from the nozzle, then extend the vacuum pipe. Feed the vacuum pipe through the nozzle and attach the nozzle to the heater pipe. Install the vacuum cup onto the end of the vacuum pipe. Adjust the height of the vacuum cup so that it is flush with the sides of the nozzle. Now, insert the control key card into the card slot of the station and select your desired operating mode. When using the manual mode, the air and vacuum pump operation are controlled manually. When using the auto mode to remove a component, the vacuum pump will automatically turn on during the last 10 seconds of the selected profile. Next, select a pre-programmed file. The FR803 can store three different recipes. Each recipe will control the heat and time in three different steps. Preheat, soak, and reflow. Now, let's remove a gullwing component. Flux the component leads. Flux aids in the transfer of heat. Most rosin-based, no-clean, and water-soluble fluxes are okay. Press the hot air button on the handpiece to start the flow of hot air. Position the nozzle over the component to allow preheating. Preheating prevents thermal shock to the board and component. Verify and adjust the airflow. Then bring the nozzle over the leads. The station will operate according to the pre-programmed temperature profile. In the open timer setting, the timer counts down after reaching the set temperature in each stage. When the timer runs down to 10 seconds in the reflow mode, the vacuum will automatically turn on. With the vacuum cup engaged with the component, lift the handpiece to remove the component from the board. Be sure the solder has completely reflowed before lifting the component off the board. Never force or jerk the component. This could cause one or more pads to be lifted from the board. To release the component from the nozzle, press the vacuum button. As soon as the step operation has completed, the cooling cycle will begin. The airflow will automatically stop as soon as the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius or 215 degrees Fahrenheit. In the case of a J-lead component, the steps are basically the same. If necessary, you can use a different program for this type of component. The nozzle is shaped differently to allow the air to flow directly to where the leads and the pads meet. With this type of component, there is a higher volume of solder to reflow. Therefore, you will need to allow more time than you would for a gullwing type component. 
When the component can be moved easily with the nozzle, it's ready to be picked up. Smaller surface mount components, such as chips and caps, can also be removed and replaced with the FR803. In this case, we will use one of the three single nozzles. Adjust the air control to the proper flow for your application. Be careful the airflow is not too strong, otherwise the hot air can blow solder off the pads or heat up adjacent components. Apply flux to the leads, use a pair of tweezers to grip the component, and heat the solder and pull the component off the board.